I'm not sure what kind of idea this person that used this last head, but I don't think it was gonna work. <laughs> I don't think two bars is gonna work. All right, I'm not using either of these, so let me get the bar I wanna use. All right, it is, you guessed it, chest day oh i'm so excited this should be a national holiday if you ask me All right, it might be surprising to see me on the free weight incline bench, but I felt like today's as good a day as any to throw around some free weight. Um, I've been kind of getting worn out on the swim machine. I love it, but I've been doing it a lot lately. So just time to switch things up a little bit. So that's why I'm doing this and well, let me just let me just throw another four, let me throw a forty-five on. I almost said another. I don't even have any on yet. Let me throw a forty-five on each side and uh, really start to get my blood in my chest and see what I think I might work with today. Um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm trying to um, get my focus back where it should be. I come in here and I'm trying to warm up with some things on my mind and trying to work out really with anything distracting you like that is far from ideal. You almost have to come in here with a clear and clean conscience and you have your focus 100% on the lift or you're probably gonna have a bad one you know what I mean um and I know that's a lot easier said than done especially if you're going through some shit but I don't know I just feel like anytime I'm distracted by anything my lifts just aren't as good you know what I mean and, and what I'm saying here isn't really shouldn't surprise anyone or be anything new to anyone um but whenever my focus is completely on what I'm doing in the moment in the gym, um, the lifts are just way, way better. So I've got to kind of get some zen over me or something. We fucking align here and try to have as of a badass lift as I can. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's throw 225 on. See how it feels. I might do that again. 
but only like three or four reps. I really want to make sure I'm ready. When it's been a while since I've done a certain lift, it can kind of take you by surprise. So unless you're just really feeling fatigued, and you think doing one or two extra warm-up sets will make it worse, don't do that, obviously. But I would say doing one or two extra when you haven't done that lift in a long time probably help you, you know. Just Like I said, just so it doesn't take you by surprise. Um, and it's not that I haven't done an incline in a long time, but it's Smith Machine and free weight, you know, quite a bit different, actually. A lot more stability required here. So, yeah, let's do like, I don't know, like three or four more reps again. Try to make sure I'm ready. <clears throat> Elbows still bother me, man. God. It's like it's never going to completely go away. Like I said, it's a lot better. But still just a little bit of pain lingering there. Enough to affect this a little bit. Make it not, or make my power not as, as much as it should be. All right, you know what? Let's just throw 315 on there. I'm going to do the first set. And then I'll kind of explain my thoughts and what I might do for the rest of this workout after. All right, let me find the song to try to carry me through this first set. I need a good one here. <clears throat> this one right here is pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> Oh my god. <laughs> To say that I am a little weak from the depletion, the low carbs, and the low calories might be an understatement. Whoa. That felt, I mean, it didn't feel, it feel like crazy heavy. But man, that was a lot heavier than what it should have been, than what it normally is. Let me say it like that. God. I remember just like three or four weeks ago, I did 325 on incline for a PR of seven reps. And this <laughs> this was 315 for barely five. Whew. But that's, um, it just comes with the territory. I know I've said it a lot before, but it does. So I don't need to get hung up on it that much really. That kind of going to change my plans a little bit, honestly. Um, I might just go down to like 275 and try try to get a couple sets of like 10, I think, and then just go from there. So I said it was chest day. Yes, it's mainly chest with a little bit of triceps. I might only do one exercise, four or five sets of triceps today. Um, last week I did two, so... I think this week would be okay to kind of cut it back a little bit, and hopefully get my elbow a break, but do just enough to stimulate my triceps and kind of maintain where they're at. But yeah, that felt, I don't know, man. The cut is cutting. Let's just say it like that. All right, let me, yeah, let me just go down to 275. Try to get some higher rep sets here. All right, very quick rest here, so see how this goes.
Yeah, that felt a lot better just in terms of the burn, the control, um, the stimulus, all of it. All of that felt much, much better. I think I did 11 too. I did one more than I was anticipating. That's cool. All right, now in this next set, I made the rest just a little longer in between. The reps were higher. The burn is a little more intense. So, maybe not. I'll let you guys know. But, yeah, I think just one more. I might not even do drop set here. Might just do one more. Move on. That's kind of what I'm feeling today. All right, I feel like. Like with how intense that last set was, I feel like I'm gonna unrack this and it's just gonna come straight down on my neck and decapitate me. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay. What is going on here? My necklace and my headphones, all of us trying to. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Shit. Well, the good news is I wasn't decapitated. That's good. It's not the prettiest, but I like my head. And I like to be able to continue to work out. So, it's a good thing. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't want to jump back into this with too much workload. I think three sets there. Obviously, you guys seen 315 was harder than it should have been. But again, not really because I'm cutting. Dude, I feel it. I <laughs> By the week. It's getting more and more, more and more difficult to even just like do simple things. I'm just, like I'm getting brain fog. So we're gonna call it good. Let's move on to some triceps. All right, kind of the same old, same old here. But with my elbow kind of acting the way it's been for, it's been like two months now. Um. This is the one exercise with the V-bar here for triceps that feels the best, basically. Let's just say it like that. Yes, there's still some pain in this elbow, but it's way less. I can actually go pretty much as heavy as I want and make it through, and it was just minimal pain. There are a few other tricep exercises I can do, but the, like I said, the pain is a little more. So I'm just going to stick with this. I'll probably do four straight sets here with this heavy weight, followed up with a good drop set, maybe two, and then triceps be done for the day. I got to try to kind of, like I said, I got to do what I can, still keep my triceps stimulated and, and all that good shit while also not overdoing it so that I can kind of heal and get better, hopefully. I mean, it's been two months and it's just lingering. So let's roll the sleeve up. Why not? Kind of see the tricep working. There we 
go. All right, let's try this first one. Good first set. Let's keep that going. All right, these are going to be pretty quick rest periods again. Like, I'm not going crazy. Have you guys seen I did like 14 reps? So it's pretty manageable. By the fourth set, if I, you know, with the speed I'm going at, I might be down around 10, 10 or 12. But that's fine. It's kind of, you know, not what I'm going for really, but like it's not a deterrent from, from going a little faster. I want to go a little faster here. Since I'm only doing four sets with a drop set or two of triceps. I just want to make it as, as intense as I can with what I'm doing. So, okay. Okay, a couple more, <laughs> a couple more this weight, just like I said, with a couple drop sets, Whew. and I think we'll be good, wow, my triceps are pretty, it looks like they're getting leaner, just around my arms in general, everywhere really, but oh, maybe it's in my head. Anyways, let's do a couple more. Oh my god. Okay. All right, this is this drop set. I'll be honest, it might not be much of a drop set. My triceps are burning. Okay, I'm not even going to do a second one. Uh, I don't even know where to put my arms. Holy shit, that was effective. Okay. Triceps are done. That's it for today. I'm going to stay right here and do some cable flies next. All right, three sets with a possible drop set. And I think my bench is a little uneven. I gotta fix that. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it's a little better. 
three sets with a possible drop set. Let's get it started. Oh, shit. I may have went to that set just a little too quick. I want to go fast, but not that fast. It's where it almost affects my sets negatively. Whew. All right, let's do a couple more here in a minute. Holy shit, okay, one more. Okay, let's do a drop set because that one, that got a little tougher sooner than I thought. Let's do a drop set. Okay. Holy crap. My pecs are burning so bad. Oh. Holy shit. Alright, that's it here. I have an idea of what I'm going to do to finish. And it's going to be very, actually probably exactly the same as last Thursday for anyone who watched that. I really liked the, the burn it gave me. So as long as the gym doesn't get too packed the next five minutes, I'll try to do that again. You guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right, so I'm going to pretty much be doing supersets here. I'll do a set here, pretty light. I mean, I might be in the 20 rep range on this first one. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna go over to the pec deck Again, lightweight, um, do as many as I can, rest like a minute, and then I'll just repeat that probably three times, 
So it's a definitely a change from how I normally train. I normally don't do super sets. It's all about either heavy sets or getting sets in that eight to 12 rep range, but still heavy for that rep range. This is different, but I figured, you know, while I'm cutting, why not switch things up a little bit since my strength just isn't gonna be top notch. So, and again, I did this last Thursday, really liked it. So we're gonna try it again. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know why or if I've just maybe the different rep ranges of training I've been doing the past week or two. My chest is fried, man. Freaking fried. All right, we're going to try it a couple more times, though, anyways. I'm suffering right now, guys. Whew. Oh, come on. One more.
Okay, I think that is it for today. My chest is... Like to even raise my arm up, cross my body, I almost can't do it. My chest is just done. Like I always get a pretty good chest pump and burn. Because obviously it's like by far my favorite day to train. But today, there's just something, something different about it, man. <sighs> Shit. I just, I don't know if just my chest was still pretty sore, but I didn't feel anything like that, so I don't know, man. It was a great chest workout, though. Fucking great. I honestly think I'm going to have trouble even posing here in a minute. <laughs> like, it's pretty gnarly, dude. Let's just get over there and try it. I'm trying to find that perfect balance of my chest still being pumped up. So that way when I'm posing, it looks full and big. But then also give myself enough rest time before I can actually fucking pose. It's a very fine line. And on top of that, yes, I'm out of water. So that sucks pretty fucking thirsty if I'm being honest so let's get right into it then let's see what exactly I'm working with I, I gotta say I am feeling leaner in terms of my strength and what I'm looking at I fucking pass out let's just call that good I think I'm um, pretty much on the verge of being completely dehydrated at the moment I'm getting fucking cotton mouth dude it's hard to even talk so yeah we're done fucking done yeah all right we're done let's fucking get out of here Again, I'll be back tomorrow. I remember last Friday I did a bunch of different shit. I did 
um, shoulders were the priority. Then I threw in lower chest and back. I might try it again, but with how my chest feels right now, I honestly don't know if I'll even be able to. So kind of 50-50. But if I can, I'll do just like I did last Friday. It'd be shoulders, lower chest, some back. And that'll be the workout for tomorrow. So we're done. I need to get out of here and get something to drink. Before I, like I said, before I fucking pass out. All right. See you guys tomorrow.